Hi everyone, Kib again for Kiboiski tutorial. I just want to congratulate you for making it to third and final video. In this series finale, we're going to learn about Shatter. It's pretty much simple, but the results are surprisingly amazing. So, I uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. Let's get started. Let's head over to our Maya. Okay, what we have here is our previous exercise. So we have a ball, box, table, ground. So the difference between our previous exercise and this exercise is when the ball hits the table, the ball will shatter. The ball uh, will spread to the ground, all of its pieces. So for us to do that, select the ball. Uh, go to dynamics menu set effects uh, option box okay. edit reset settings so we have three types of shatter it's surface solid and crack and but for this exercise we're going to focus more on solid shatter so for the shard counts it's uh, it basically specifies a value for the number random number generator so in layman's term it's the count of the number of pieces that the object will uh, spread into so for this demo let's just set it to 10 all right and for edge jaggedness it specifies the unevenness of the shattered edges so we can understand it more if uh, if the ball is already shattered so let's see about that later so post operation which buddies with collision off it basically means that the shattered pieces will be converted into rigid bodies and collisions off so that we won't have any unnecessary calculations and so we don't I think we don't need this remove interior polygons but if you uh, check this there will be an option that will be uh, activated it's true charts what this basically does is it will, uh, it will take off all of the insides of the uh, solid object so I think it's pretty much uh, the same with the surface shatter so uh, but for this demo I won't be using extrude charts and for apply interior I won't be using that either and let's hit delete for original surface so that the original object will be deleted so let's hit create okay there we go all right let's line this up so that it will hit the table okay next let's select the shards and then uh, let's hit window re relationship editor dynamic relationship so that we can put gravity on it we don't have to create a gravity, uh, a new gravi gravity again. So let's, close. let's see. All right, we're good to go. It has a gravity, and let's go over to our channel box. Let's double check our axis. So it's x-axis. So uh, for the initial velocity, negative twenty. Let's see layer animation there you go you can already see the results but I almost forgot so in order for us uh, in order for the other objects to, to collide with our shards we must select our object and go to collision layer uh, set it to negative one so that it will uh, collide with our shard sharded object so let's hit play this would work all right here we go we're uh, the, the ball is let's tweak up the uh, the setting of the ball let's set it to three i don't want 
it to balance that much for the table let's set it to one let's decrease the velocity 17 so let's see let's check oh yes let's make this higher okay i think we can achieve more realism all right it's too powerful Alright, this is the edge jaggedness. This is the randomness. This is the edge jaggedness, the randomness. This is the edges. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, guys. This is uh, this pretty much sums up our, our three-part series about particles, fields, instancer, um, uh, rigid bodies, and shatter. And I hope you guys learned something. And most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed because. But for me, I, I don't know. No, I don't know about you guys, but but for me, I'm enjoy. I'm enjoying uh, to learn new things every day so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you like uh what you have seen in the three three part video um please do like subscribe and leave a comment anything just leave a comment below i would very very much absolutely appreciate it and uh, thank you for watching and see you again for the next tutorial peace